I just got invited to a party this Sunday for my friend Susie. We, we met online and became instant best friends. I am so excited to go to her party. She told me to be at my school's playground at 6 and she would have her dad pick me up so my parents wouldn't have to drive. The only problem, problem is that she begged me not to tell my parents. Susie and I are both afraid that my parents won't let me go. I feel badly about lying, but I really want to go to the party. What should I do? I have been talking with my friend Sam for about a, about a month. I met him in a chat room for soccer players. He is in a grade above me, and we have so much fun talking. We have a lot in common. Lately, Sam has been talking about things that make me feel uncomfortable. He said that if I was his friend, we should be able to talk about anything. I just feel weird doing this. What should I do? Hi friends, it's Rhea Sharon from MyMommyManual.com and I am here this evening with Lori Lander, who is the founder of Girls in the Know, which is a wonderful program. Lori, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, Rhea. Mm -hmm. Girls in the Know is a nonprofit 501c3 organization and um, we travel around to various elementary and middle schools in the St. Louis and St. Charles area, educating mothers and daughters together on very important topics such as empowering your preteen daughter, um, nutrition and exercise and promoting healthy body image. Um, we also talk about um, safety mm -hmm. as well as uh, the birds and the bees. So there's a lot of tough topics that we talk about and discuss and really try to open up lines of communication between mothers and daughters because we know these days how important it is to really keep those lines of communication open. So the whole idea for this yeah. came about because you yourself are a mom and Correct. you have a preteen daughter. I right? do, yes. When my daughter, my oldest, I actually have three girls and my oldest daughter turned 10 last year. Um, I thought by 10 years old she would have, we would have already discussed a lot of these topics mm -hmm. and we hadn't and I couldn't believe that when she woke up that morning, 10 years old, double digits. <laughs> And we still had not talked about so many things that I thought by, by now we would have. So I started looking in the community and calling um, hospitals and community outreach, and I could not find anything like this program. So I decided to create a program exactly like for what I needed mm -hmm. for my daughter and I. So, of course, we went through the program, and she actually gave me ideas on things that Very she thought cool. might be fun, and we try to make it interactive for the moms as well as the daughters. And um, it's been great. So we've, we've really enjoyed this year doing this. We're now on our 14th speaker series. And we have also just begun this past month a Guys in the Know program for fathers and sons, fifth and sixth grade boys and their dads. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to talk about Internet safety first. None of the stuff that we talk about is meant to scare anybody or the girls especially. It's not meant to scare you, but just a little dose of reality to kind of educate you on what is out there. The kids just don't know all the time. They don't understand that they're talking to a stranger online. Uh, they don't understand what the big deal is about chatting with other 10 to 12 year olds in a chat room. They just don't, you know, they don't understand what the big deal is. Um, the problem that we find is in these chat rooms there are predators. Girls, do you understand what that means? Mm -hmm. Do you? Can one of you explain it to me? Yes. Like someone that's like not really good to be talking to. Well, it's someone who's trying to get your information out of you and they pretend to be someone they're not so Absolutely. that they can figure out who you are and everything. You know, we start out with our kids when they're little bitty and we teach them about stranger danger and we send them to classes and they learn this in preschool. But then when it comes online, we just let them go, you know, and we don't follow up and they're just on the computer and they can actually come into more contact with strangers on the internet in 10 minutes than they probably ever will in the, on the street. So it's something to keep in mind something that you've brought into your home, you're allowing your children on, it has to be monitored. Um, we don't feel in law enforcement this is a good age to have unmonitored computer use in the home, like having computers in the bedroom or, you know, taking the laptop away. I'm sure you've all heard of the stings where law enforcement get on the computer and they pretend to be a 12, uh, 10 to 12 year old girl or boy and they start typing on the computer and they got people chatting back with them and sending pictures. Um, 
not good pictures back to them within three minutes. You can even they even try to get on and talk to them through the, what we consider safe sites like Webkins and the Disney mm -hmm. channels and things like that. So you really have to be cautious. And girls, what that means is you don't talk to anybody online that you don't know personally. You don't take people's word for who they are. You exchange usernames to contact each other, you know, on webkins or online or email addresses, but you don't just let somebody <coughs> contact you online and start to chat with you. How many of you have ever had somebody that you don't know IM you or email you or send you a message online? It happens a lot. It really does. Anybody that has spent any time on the computer has had somebody contact them that they don't know. Um, girls, one thing that we try to protect you with and get you to do is not to use your name or your age in your usernames. Don't ever talk to anybody that makes you feel uncomfortable. Nobody. Yeah, and again, do you think that that is a possibility that that could be somebody else? Sure. But yeah, moms, if you find out that somebody's tried to talk to your child online, yes, call us.